And the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is a pictograph. Your students will probably never need to create a pictograph for a report, um, but this is a fun thing that you can do in Excel. It teaches them some features and things are becoming increasingly visual. I teach pictographs in particular because they um, humanize technical graphics a little bit more. Um, if you look at the news and they talk about you know war statistics or famine statistics or anything that happens to go on in the world, they often depict it with a pie chart or a bar graph or a bar chart and sometimes that makes the information, it loses its emotional attachment. And so pictographs are kind of a way to respond to that in that they still kind of suggest that there is a humanistic element. So I introduce this just because uh, it's discussed in Lannan and Gurak and it shows some students some tools um, that might bring out their creativity. So I've given you here some data for uh, home sales uh, in Denton. Same thing that I am going to do. I'm going to make sure that I've selected this data and I'm going to copy and paste it into Excel. And what we're going to do for the picta chart is we're going to generate a bar chart, which you already know how to do. So I'm gonna just go up here to insert and I'm gonna pick this basic 2D bar chart. And you're probably thinking, okay, great. Now what? So this is where kind of the fun aspect of it comes in. What we're going to do is we're going to add a picture or an image element now to these individual bars. And I've given you some house graphics so that you can kind of play around with this. And so the first thing that I'm going to do um, is with my mouse, I'm going to select these bars. And you can either select them individually or you can select the whole thing. Um, I'll just start with this, uh, I'll start with the May since it's the biggest and you can probably see it the best. And you can see that the data format data option already comes up. I'm going to click the, click the paint can here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this button here that says picture or textual fill. And what it's going to ask you to do is insert a file. And so I'm going to click that file button. And on my desktop, um, I have these house graphics and I'm going to pick the blue one and you can see a really distorted version of the house appears there but if you notice you've got options here and you've got this option here that's um, called stack and scale with and you have stack and I'm going to go ahead and just press stack and you can see that it takes your house and it scales it and it stacks it and so you can do this and if you you can do this with one of the houses or you can make every bar its own house and again I'm just clicking this I'm going to picture or text fill it'll take the picture that's already in there so I'll go click file again we'll go with the purple house now and then the last thing I want to do is I want to stack and I'll do it right here for June picture or textual fill file we need to do red now and stack and again just something different that you can show students how to do, um, but it teaches them um, some features that they probably have not seen before. Same policy principles apply to this as well. You can begin to add chart elements and you can style this any way that you want, but this is just a way to add some different pizzazz or whatnot uh, to your charts. So this is a, a basic pictograph.